what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be talking about how you can create a navigation controller programmatically so fully through code no storyboard no nibs so we're going to be building what you see here we have this button and we tap it we present uh, a navigation controller that has this red controller as its root and we also have this dismiss button so we'll talk about how to set navigation bar items and just to illustrate that this is in fact a navigation controller, we can tap this button and it pushes uh, onto the navigation stack, this white controller. And as you can see here, we can swipe back and forth. The uh, button animates away, the title comes and goes. So we'll talk about how to do this through code. Pretty straightforward, pretty popular. Make sure you destroy that like button as always for the channel. Make sure you comment down below if you want to just say hi before we get started and open up Xcode and let's jump right in. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. And we're going to stick with a single view application. Let's go ahead and call this application uh, navigation controller with code. Go ahead and create it and save it wherever you'd like. I'll go ahead and put it on my desktop and let's jump into it. So first things first, let's pick a simulator up here and go ahead and hit that run button to get the app uh, opened up in our simulator here. Obviously it'll be a, a empty application, but that way we'll be in a position to start writing some code. And while it's compiling and doing its thing, let's open up our view controller, which is the one that the uh, Xcode template gives us. Here is our empty application. And let's go ahead and start in the code by just giving this a background color of, let's say, uh, system blue. So we're gonna say view.backgroundcolor is system blue. And what we wanna do is create and push another view controller in a navigation controller and we want to do it all through some code so we want some action to occur to kind of indicate that we want to go to that other controller so how do we do that well first and foremost we want to create a button so i'm going to create a button here and we can actually make this a global button like putting it there and let's go ahead and set a title on this button and we're gonna call it go uh, to nav controller. And the state we're gonna set it for is normal. Make sure we add this as a sub view to our button. And let's also give this a background color. We're gonna set the background color of this guy is white. And to make sure we can see the text on it, we're gonna give it a title color. And we'll make that black and also for normal. And then we also want this to have a frame. So we're gonna say the button dot frame is uh, CG rect with the X, Y width and height. We'll just say 100, 100, uh, 200, and let's say like 52. Go ahead and hit Command R to build and run. And we should have our button sitting right about here with our background is blue. So obviously tapping it, nothing happens. So when we tap it, we're gonna call a function in which we're gonna create that navigation controller programmatically. So go ahead and create a function that's annotated Objective-C called did tap button. And on this button up here, we wanna add the target. So we're gonna say add target. And we're gonna say self selector will be did tap button and the event for which, which this, uh, this selector, AKA function will be fired is touch up inside. Now in here, we're gonna create a navigation controller. So how do, we wait, how do we make a nav controller? So it's pretty simple. So we can say nav view controller, 
is a UI navigation view controller. And if we open up the parentheses, you see the one that we actually want, uh, if we want to do it through code, is with a root view controller. So essentially, in the storyboard, if you've ever done a navigation controller, a navigation controller has its root controller. So we're going to create a root VC, and we're going to create it right above it. And we'll say root VC is simply another view controller. And now that we've created this navigation controller, we are going to present it by saying present nav VC animated true. And let's also give this root view controller a title. And let's call it welcome. And it's probably good enough for now. Go ahead and hit command R to build and run. And you should see once you tap on this button, we're presenting this other controller. Notice we have the title, but notice the background is still transparent. Uh, we are showing a navigation bar here. So what we want to actually do is instead of using this uh, generic UI view controller, what we want to do is create another controller down here. And I'm going to call this second view controller, which will be a separate class. Make sure it's uh, outside of your first class there. So after the curly. And in here, we're going to override, um, we're going to override view did load call super view did load and we're going to set a background color in here to the view and let's say this is a uh, system red and now we are going to create one of these and what we can also do is move this title assignment inside of this controller and go ahead and run this one more time and let's see it looks like it's complaining here second view controller we need to still have those parentheses there that I accidentally got rid of. So make sure you put those there. And we tap it, you notice we get this navigation controller with a title, get the red background. And this is how you present a navigation controller through code. So there is uh, two more things or three more things I'd like to cover. So the first thing is right now when we present this nav controller, it's presenting as this card. So what if we don't want to present it as a card that can be swiped away? It's pretty simple. We're going to say nav VC dot uh, presentation, modal presentation style, actually. Let's find that one. So we want presentation style. And the modal presentation, let's try that one more time. Modal presentation style is going to be full screen. And before we run it again, in this view controller, in the red view controller, which is the root of our navigation controller, Let's add a button in there too. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste our original button uh, that we had in the first controller. Let's go ahead and create that button in here as well. And we're going to, on this one, we're going to say push another controller. And we're going to go ahead and create this function in here as well in this other view controller. Notice we're in the second view controller right now. And in a navigation controller, you can push and pop uh, different controllers on top of the screen. So the way you do that, we're going to model an example here, is we're going to create a random view controller. We'll set its background color to be white on its view. And we're going to say navigation controller, push VC, animated true. Go ahead and hit command R and we'll see what we got. So we tap this button. We see that we have a navigation bar up here, the title, we have another button here. And we tap on that, it actually pushes another controller and we've set its background to white and we can swipe back and we also have this back arrow. And you can swipe back and you'll see the title animates back in very subtly like that, so on and so forth. And the last thing that I'd like to cover how to do programmatically is how do we set some of those buttons up here? So right now there's no way to dismiss this navigation controller. So we are able to actually set navigation items in the bar, in the navigation bar. And the way that works is where we create this second view controller here as the root VC, we can assign the root VC uh, navigation item and we can say either the right bar button item or the left bar button item. So a bar button item is a UI bar button item. And we can open up the parentheses for its initializer. 
And in this case, we'll create it with a title. So the title for the right hand one is going to be dismiss. The style we can go with is plain. The target we can say is left, uh, self. And the action we can say is uh, dismiss self. And instead of actually creating this out here, what we could say is we can put that logic inside of the second view controller's view did load. So let me get rid of my antivirus pop-up that likes to make an appearance. And we can actually put this stuff in here. And we would just want to make sure that we go ahead and define this function. So right now it's giving us an error because we don't actually have that uh, function that selector defines anywhere. But once you create it, you'll notice that everything should compile. And in this dismiss cell function, we're simply going to say dismiss. We want to say dismiss view controller animated true completion nil. So go ahead and run your app with a command R. You can hit this button to present the controller. And now we have a dismiss button here. So as we go between these different pushed controllers in our navigation controller, we can actually hit this button and it dismisses it and it brings us back to this original blue controller. And there you have it. That's how you can create a navigation controller encapsulated view controller through code. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. It's very popular. People often do it this way because the overhead of doing this through storyboard is slightly annoying. I strongly prefer it in code myself. That said, if you haven't destroyed the like button, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me make more videos for all of you. Make sure to subscribe while you're at it if you haven't done so already. Comments, any questions down below. I love hearing from you guys and I try to reply to every comment. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.